I'm Joe Donnelly from Games Radar, live here at Gamescom 2022. I've just had a little preview of Hyenas, and I'm about to sit down with Alex, one of the devs, to talk a little bit more about it. So, Hyenas. Indeed. It's looking good, it's looking exciting. What's the feeling behind the scenes at the moment? We're just excited to be an alpha. We're excited to be uh, taking the game to our players. It's been a really nice moment in time for us as a studio. Obviously, we've been working behind the scenes for it on a while. So yeah, to have it in players' hands, even in this early stage, is, has been really, really exciting. So yeah, great to be able to talk about it. Definitely great to see. The first non-strategy game from Creative Assembly since Alien Isolation, very mm -hmm. different game. Mm. Are there any similarities behind the scenes beyond the the space setting and I think that's the obvious one right which is it's a sci-fi setting but beyond that no it's a departure from I think anything that Creative Assembly have done which is you know challenging but incredibly exciting for us yeah there's kind of vibes of of Prey Apex Legends with the kind of slides and stuff Hunt the Showdown's been mentioned I've noticed online as well is it a case of kind of looking at the the broader spectrum of games at the moment and just picking your favourite bits and making something your own. What we actually ended up kind of doing is uh, trying to play test things, figure out what uh, we were enjoying and forming a mode around that. And yeah, as with all games, there'll be some similarities with other things, but it was more around kind of creating a really exciting game mode that we were enjoying and then building and uh, kind of elaborating on that as opposed to looking sideways. So. We got a, a, a kind of a small view of some of the characters there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Galaxia was one which caught the eye. A, a drag queen uh, character. Can you tell me more about about her? Oh, she's my favourite personally. Um, so she's awesome. Uh, very tanky character in terms of the gameplay. Uh, she's all about kind of drawing fire, and then she's got a heck of a shield which will uh, effectively absorb that and throw that back. Uh, alongside kind of a semi-automatic shotgun that again can deal out a fair amount of damage herself. And though in terms of gameplay, that's how she plays. In terms of tone of voice and character, she's she's my favourite by far. Like it's it's definitely this. Uh, we we've got a lot of soul in our game in terms of the quips and kind of how we yeah players interact etc. And she's definitely the most fun to play when you're running around. Just just hearing her throw up one liners when she downs enemies. It's it's brilliant. Yeah, great fun. How do you research a character like that? I mean, so I can't talk too much about that specifically, uh, but what I will say is we've definitely had a lot of fun uh, working with folks to kind of figure out what feels right for a drag queen character in a sci-fi based shooter, uh, which is a big question, bigger question than we thought it would be. But no, it's, it's been it's been great fun. Can't talk too much about what's happened behind the scenes there, but I'm sure sure you'll hear more later. In terms of the weapons, obviously kind of larger than life in yes, a game yeah. like this, the foam grenades certainly caught my eye. And that looks like great fun. Can you tell me a little bit more about those? Foam grenades, great. So what we've looked to do is uh, with hyenas, you'll hear a lot about, uh, you'll hear us say PVE, VP a lot. Uh, so, and that's the three E's there, or engage, exploit, uh, and evade. And what uh, foam grenades do is allow you to do effectively all three. So they act as a really good uh, wall when you're looking to effectively set up and shop and combat enemies. You can use them to disable enemies directly themselves. But interestingly, you can also use them for traversal. So if you go ahead and throw a foam grenade at the wall or you have our command, uh, Commander Wright, our astronaut character, um, also has a foam gun, uh, you can use that to create platforms for you to get to otherwise unreachable areas of the map. Uh, so yeah, foam is a great tool uh, across not just for shooting uh, and engaging with folks, but also for getting away and also kind of sneaking around and uh, finding other ways of getting to the vaults. So yeah, really good fun. I know it's early days yet, but 2023 is mm -hmm. kind of penciled for, for a release for this kind of game. Um, given the popularity of live service games, you know, where do you see the game in a year or two years time? It's a great question. And I think right now we're really focused on figuring that out. So we're, we've just gone into alpha and I think this is the first time we've had um, hands-on experience from a real life audience uh, who can tell us what they're thinking, can help feedback in the game. And I think that's really helping us shape out what the future of this looks like. Um, so that's kind of our, what's in front of mind right now. So it's a long, uh, long journey for us. And we're really, really focused on this kind of like uh, player informed development. Um, it's the first time that Creative Assembly have done that, like part and parcel as, as the entire development of the game. So it, it's it's a bit new for us in that uh, regard, but that means it's a little hard to predict the future. Um, it's more around kind of making a game that players really enjoy uh, playing. So so that's really where we're focused on is the today and the alpha. Definitely looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so nice much. One. No worries.